Ladies and gentlemen, the people's champion, Stephen Wolf! So, shortly after the theatrical debut of Batman vs. Superman, and I mean super shortly, like I think it was that same weekend, Warner Brothers went online and they released a deleted scene that showed Lex Luthor talking to that Kryptonian ball-bearing type hologram style thing of what, like a big minotaur. Right. Presumably this was some kind of effort to get people excited for the next movie. The kind of fans who got excited when Crazy Lex started singing ping, 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 ping speculated that this was Steppenwolf. And sure enough, Warner recently confirmed that Steppenwolf would be the main antagonist in 2017 Justice League movie. And he's going to be portrayed by Kieran Hines, who you know from HBO's Rome and oh, okay. Game of Thrones Ooh. And, uh, and maybe from Frozen. The character Steppenwolf was he's also, of course, known for his hit song, Magic Carpet Ride. <laughs> and just stay away from that. We're um, going there. The character of Steppenwolf was actually created by late comic legend Jack Kirby. Now, you probably recognize Jack Kirby as the co creator of Captain America, Fantastic Four, Hulk, Thor, Silver Surfer, X Men, many others. And you may be saying, but wait, Paul, those are Marvel characters, and the Justice League is a DC movie. Wait, Paul, those are Marvel characters, and the Justice League is a DC movie. And you'd be right. You may not know that in 1970, Jack Kirby actually felt that Marvel wasn't treating him fairly, and so he just jumped ship and went to work for DC. Ooh, cool. Bringing with them a whole slate of new characters called Fourth World or New Gods. Now, these were all originally imagined to fit into Marvel's Thor comics, and DC even created their own Thor character for a while. The premise was that in the depths of space millennia ago, there was a planet of immortals, and that was somehow split into two halves. So all the good parts of that planet formed a new planet called New Genesis, right. and that was led by the High Father. Right. And then there, all the bad in the planet got sent to this other one called Apocalypse, right. which was led by Darkseid. Now Darkseid's mother was Hegra, and Hegra had a brother named Steppenwolf. Okay, I could have just said that Steppenwolf was Darkseid's uncle, but this seemed better. Despite an open animosity between Darkseid and Steppenwolf, the uncle was the leader of Apocalypse Army, and at one point, the two men went hunting on New Genesis. While they were there, they came across the High Father, and Steppenwolf inadvertently killed the High Father's wife. Uh oh. This single act triggered a billion year war between the families and planets. Now, it's more complicated than that, but we're here to talk about Steppenwolf. We don't learn much about Steppenwolf before High Father Revenge kills him, never mind the mystery of how he's immortal and keeps dying. Pretty much just that he's bloodthirsty, deadly, doesn't trust anyone, or like his family. He sometimes rides a tiger dog bear thing, and has a whip-like snare and a distinctive sword. Of course he does show up resurrected again without any real explanation for that. High Father's wife did have a son who eventually gained power over life and death, as gods are wont to do sometimes, and he chose to alternate torture and heal Steppenwolf, so maybe that's how this happened? The timeline is unclear. But in that muddy chronology, Steppenwolf is actually one of very few people in the DC Universe to actually survive an encounter with Doomsday, some 250,000 years ago. Granted, he lived because he kind of ran away, ostensibly to protect Darkseid. But since movie Doomsday is a modern-day Lex invention, we probably won't see that on screen. After surviving Doomsday in an encounter with the Flash, this version of Steppenwolf was finally killed for good by C-list villain Clock King. <laughs> The Clock King? In a dispute over ownership of a fight club. Well, that makes sense. So fitting for a god to die that way. It was it was pretty lame. Yeah. But after the events of Flashpoint, we got a whole new version of Steppenwolf and his distinctive horn helmet. In the Prime storyline, he's part of Darkseid's advanced forces and is sent to Earth specifically to torture Superman. In that story, Batman becomes omniscient for a while. It's weird. And in the rebooted Earth 2, he leads a massive invasion force of nephew Darkseid's parademons. In this attack, Steppenwolf personally kills the Earth 2 Wonder Woman and Superman and makes Batman sacrifice himself. Not only that... And then runs afoul of the Clock King? Oh. No ho. Oh. But he takes dead Diana's daughter, Fury, and raises her as his own child while he rules the planet for years. Oh. These are probably the kind of images we should expect to see in the Justice League movie. Now, unfortunately... This Steppenwolf was killed by Earth 2's Bizarro, you know. It's a step up for the Clock King, I guess. So, some immortals just can't die well, no matter how often they try. But, not content to perish in comics only, we've also seen immortal Steppenwolf die in Superman the Animated Series, right? The Justice League, okay. and Batman Brave and the Bold. This guy's had a tough run. <laughs> so, certainly Steppenwolf in the movie, things are going to look good for you, buddy. Yeah. 
you can definitely count on living through to the end of Justice League, I'm sure. And I'm sure you're not just a stepping stone for the DCU to get to Darkseid. You'll be fine. You can't say it was better in the comics unless you know what happened in the comics. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking that like button just down there, and make sure you hit subscribe so you can learn the origins and backgrounds of characters for all the upcoming DC and Marvel movies. And if there's a comic character you'd like to know the history of, just mention them in the comments, or hit us up on Twitter and let us know, and we'll probably get to it eventually.